three decades ago is on the brink of being paroled, leaving the family of one of the victims shocked and outraged, the Chicago Tribune reports. He doesn't deserve to be treated like a human being for the stuff he did to my sister and all the families and the women. Mark Borofsky said of Thomas Kokorilis, 57, It's just sickening. He has no business living. Kokorilis is due to be paroled. September 29th after serving half of a 70-year sentence for the rape and satanic ritual torture killing of 21-year-old Lorianne Borofsky in 1982, the paper reported Friday. Kokorilis, his brother and two other men were part of a satanic gang that drove around in a red van looking for lone women to kidnap, beat, rape, torture and kill, according to the paper. They cut off their victims' breasts, often while the women were still alive, as part of cannibalistic, sexual rituals. Andrew Kokorelis was the last inmate executed in Illinois in 1999. Crew member Edward Spritzer, 56, is ineligible for parole. Crew ringleader Robin Gecht, 63, has a parole date in 2042. Prosecutors are fighting to Keep Kokorelis behind bars. They are expected to ask a judge to label Kokorelis a sexually violent person that would keep him locked up beyond his parole date under a 1998 civil commitment law. The paper reported Kokorelis was found guilty of killing Borofsky, but the conviction was overturned due to a legal error, the Tribune reported. He pleaded guilty in 1987 in exchange for the 70 year sentence but is only required to serve half his sentence under Illinois sentencing guidelines. Kokorilis was also accused of killing Linda Sutton, a 26-year-old mother of a 9-year-old boy and a 1-year-old girl, but the charges were dropped as part of the plea deal.